Hey, so in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about how you should be the best you. Not the best of all, but the best you. So, first off the bat, we got we got to learn how to accept our, our flaws. Our flaws, in quote. We don't have many flaws. I don't think there's really a flaw with people. Like, there, there's flaws, don't, don't get me wrong. There's things to improve on. But when we're talking about us in our natural state, the way that we were born, it's not a flaw. So, we first got to look at the things that define, like, the, the perfect man or the perfect woman or the perfect this, the perfect that. Things that, uh, like, people who are tall and, you know, they got, like, perfect hair and they've got perfect skin. They've got perfect muscles. Perfect everything. These are the people who we look at and we think, if we want to be anything good, we have to be like that. We have to be that muscular guy or that really, really razor thin woman. We gotta have the tan. We gotta be at least six foot something. We gotta have this and that and that and that and that. There are so many different things that we define as like the, the perfect. This is how we can be the best. This is the perfect. The. It's so stupid. I want you to scrap it. Keep it in mind through the video, but I want you to scrap it entirely. Because we're talking about you. We're not talking about the perfect man. We're talking about the perfect you. So, let's start with what you're born with, that you think are flaws. What is it that you think is such a flaw? Let's take, for example, with me. The only flaws I could ever really point out that people... And I don't believe these to be flaws, but other people do... The only things that I could really point out is that I'm like five, seven, or eight. I'm not the tallest guy. And, you know, it's funny. My brothers are, like, my 11-year-old brother is as tall as me. And my 14-year-old brother is six foot two or something. So I'm the short brother, but I'm the oldest. Instantly, people would think there's a flaw. I don't think it's a flaw. But... We're going to list a couple off. So there's one, and let me let, let me let you in on a secret. All right, check this out. I have the worst hairline on the planet, man. I've got a 40-year-old's hairline right here. This is horrible. This is horrible. This thing is disgusting. I'm joking. I don't mind this hairline, actually, because I wear the hairstyle that I have here, and this, this works. But many, many people would look at this hairline and they don't know how to recover from that. That that would be detrimental. I even there's in my dad's side there's people who are balding balding at like 25, and I might get there. I might get to 25 and I might start balding with my already 40 year old midlife crisis kind of deal hairline. This I might start balding with that, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't I don't mind it. Well, there's ways to work around it. There's things you can get. But for now, it's fine. Off the bat, I'm short and I got a hairline. So many people would be heartbroken. They would be devastated if they were born into a body that had a hairline that wasn't perfectly straight and like down to like this level or some shit. And if they weren't six foot four, they would be devastated. Let alone I got acne too. I'm 16, so like I'll have acne, but some people find that devastating. <laughs> Even teenagers, some teenagers can't accept that they're going to have acne. You see what I'm getting at here? I don't mind these, these flaws, in quote, but so many people would. What are the flaws you got? The flaws. I'm, I'm not, none of your flaws are actually flaws. List off the things that devastate you in some capacity, if, if any. And maybe just the things that you think other people would be devastated by. We're going to talk about those. How to work around it. Pause the video for a second. List up a few like I just did. The, the bo bodily ones. I'm not talking about like, I am a visual learner and it is a flaw for my environment. No, I'm talking like, is your body 
in some way different from the perfect the perfect model and you you think people wouldn't like it list those off pause the video list those off welcome back if you did but the point is we're going to talk about those right right now why how, and how should we accept them i think we should accept them because we were made this way we had no choice there is no customizable character screen at the beginning of life. I couldn't have chose my hairline, nor my height, the structure of my face, and the acne that's on it. None of that was up to me. Of course, that isn't an excuse to have shitty hygiene. You should still be hygienic. You should still clean your acne. You should have nice hair, and you should dress nice for your height. That doesn't mean be a pig. But if you do all those things and you still consider them flaws, you didn't have a choice. Get that out of your mind. Don't act like this was a choice you had, because it wasn't. You had no participation at all. Your mom and your dad and Jesus were the only people who had any fucking decision in how you were going to be. Jesus, if you believe, or well, God, Jesus was more of a joke, but I believe that God and my parents are the only re the only things that could have decided how I was going to be made. And my parents, not even. It's just like their genetics combined made me. But it was kind of up to God. That's how I view it. I didn't have a choice. That was up to God. So if he made me this way, and if he made me in this image, and this doesn't have to be something you believe in too, I'll say that. You don't have to believe in God for this, but still, there's... There, I'm just saying from my perspective, if God made all of us in his image, and I'm one of all of us, then I made in his image too, which means that if my hairline and my height aren't up to the perfect model's standards, why does, why does that matter? Because I'm still made in his image, just like the model is. Why does it matter? I didn't have a choice. And if I was made this way, that's fine. I will live my life the way I do. And I will live it to the best of me. Not to the best of me trying to be that model guy. It's to the best of me being me. That's it. But what do we do to work around this? Because so that's why you should accept it. But, but how? What do you do? Well... Take a look for take a look at this my hairline. I just wear a hairstyle like this. This is fine. This is not like of course I could go I could do a lot of things here. We're gonna look ridiculous. I could get like a mohawk thing going and it would look so ugly. And I could just do such crazy stuff. Oh fuck! It's gonna be so messy for the rest of the video. But I make my hair look like this because this is just the best one. There's sometimes a style I can get where I get it shorter here and here. I'm due for a haircut, as you might be able to tell. You get it shorter here and here. You keep this, or you trim it just a little bit, not as much. And then you kind of get like a weird mohawk thing going on. But it's like bigger. It's way bigger than just this. You see what I mean? Perfect, perfect haircut for me. Just like that, I've learned how to be best in my body. With my hair. Because I've taken... All the haircuts I've experimented for years and I've looked at all these different ones and I've concluded this thing is the best. Something like this is the best. And I don't mind it. This is great. This is a perfect haircut for me. No problem. You don't have to be like all the models who have hair that's all crazy. You don't have to have really, really big hair. You don't have to have razor. Sh like You don't have to be bald, borderline bald. It, you can do basically whatever you want, but don't force yourself into thinking, I need to be. I must be. This is the perfect picture. I must. I can, don't. Find what works for you. And if something works for you that isn't like that isn't like this, if you had my hairline or... Yeah, if I found a different haircut that works and it isn't this, that's still good too. That's still perfect too. What about my height? I just... I wear my clothes good. I build my body good. I fill out my I fill out my frame. One of the best things you can do is work towards filling out your frame in the and that's for everyone, like for every height, for every single person. Fill out your frame. 
get some, like, if you're a man, get some good legs, get some good legs, get some good glutes, get some good shoulders and some arms, get a good back, and then make sure your chest looks nice, make sure that you can get clothing that's tight. I often wear a tank top or something. Today's more of a chill day, so I'm wearing a shirt and a jacket, so it's not like this is really filling out my clothing. It still is, but not fully. So, on days that are more chill, you don't have to be, like, professional fancy man. But if you want to look good, which everyone does, just get some tight, not too tight, but fitting clothing. Things that look nice, things that complement you. Look the best that you can. Get fit for your level. and Wear the best clothing that you can. And then, boom, you have a style that's different from the, the taller guy. Because the taller guy will have a style that, that maybe you could replicate in a smaller form, but it won't be the same. You're always going to look different. He's going to be a giant, and you're going to be not so giant, but you're still going to be big, and you're still going to have good clothing on. I wear a tank top often. You've seen it in the videos, and, and it fills out my, my frame good, fills out my body, looks nice. We wear some pants, get some sweatpants maybe, wear a tank top. Boom. Perfect. There's no flaw there. I might not be as tall as my brother, who's 6'2", but I'm still pretty... I still look good for what I do. I'm not ugly because I'm not 6'2". I'm good looking because I filled my frame out, and I dress properly, and I have good hygiene, and I'm the best me. That's the key. I'm the best me. My brother doesn't have my hairline. My brother doesn't have my height. He's got a perfect hairline, I guess you could say, and a perfect amount of height. And not so much me, but look, fill it out perfectly, wear the perfect haircut. My flaw is now my, my fancy way of doing things. There's no flaw there. Easy. We don't have a choice. Remember that. So just accept that flaw. That isn't even a flaw in the first place. And do your best to work with it. That is how you can become the best you. Find the best way to do it. Don't let that toxic shit get to you. It never really got to me in the first place. But but I know a lot of people who it does get to. And it's gross. It's gross. So don't let it get to you. You don't have to be six foot four and buff as fuck to be a man. You can be... 5'8", not, not super buff, but be fit, you know, don't, don't be fat and don't be super razor thin skinny, but be fit for what you are, you don't have to be ripped, be fit, be healthy, be the best you, there's no problem with that, there's nothing wrong, and every time you see a flaw, remember, you were made this way because of whatever you believe in, God, the universe, it doesn't matter. You were made this way, and you had no choice. So do the best that you can, and find the best way to work with it. That's everything. Take care, my friend.